What is going on everyone? Anthony Maslone here with a brand new video. In today's very video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to start getting traffic to your Shopify stores for 100% free. So this is more so the more frugal approach to getting started with dropshipping rather than going out there and throwing money into Facebook ads right away. So the perks of this is number one, you get to uh, start seasoning your Facebook pixel, which is super, super valuable for when you're ready to start running those Facebook ads. Number two, you start building out the foundation to a strong Instagram account and social media presence for your brand. And lastly, number three, you're going to be getting sales for 100% free as long as you do things properly and you follow exactly what I'm going to outline in this video. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started and be sure to go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you take any value away from this video or if you simply enjoy watching my content. So let's go ahead and get started with the first method to go out there and get started with drop shipping without any money. So we're going to start getting traffic and sales without wasting tons of money. And that is through my favorite platform, which is Instagram, all right? And Instagram is super easy to go out there and start building a brand presence with a few very key values that you must keep in mind. So just to keep some notes down for you guys, so I'd say consistency is key, all right? Consistency is super, super important. And I've said this in the past in my previous videos or if you've been inside of my courses, how to be consistent on Instagram and how much it actually means to your engagement. So I'd say posting anywhere from one to three times daily, okay? Um, I'd say three at the most where you post in the beginning of the day, the middle of the day, and the end. Um, no more than that because you're simply going to dilute your content. It's going to be very hard for you to find more content to put out there. So I typically say between one and two posts daily, whether it's a video or a still image, and make sure you're leveraging hashtags and utilizing viral content. Now, the main goal of this is to essentially get onto the explore page where the most engagement and the most new prospects could bump into your brand. So simply put, there's a very easy way to go ahead and find viral content. And it's by downloading this uh, very Chrome extension, adding it to your browser. It's called Downloader for Instagram. And you simply go to your Instagram and what you have to do, if you're on your, uh, if you're on your laptop or your, uh, or your desktop, you could simply go ahead and once you have this downloaded on Chrome extension, you could simply go ahead and start downloading this content that is on the Explore page and reposting it to your own. Now, obviously, uh, depending on the pages that you follow, you're going to get hit with the correlating content. So with your business's page, you're going to want to go out there and start following your other competitors and following people that are in your niche so that you get that proper content in your Explore page. And if not, start going ahead and engaging with those pages and following them sooner than later, and you'll find the best content possible. And if you can't find anything on the Explore page, you can simply punch in a hashtag. So for example, for my business page, I can go ahead and punch in entrepreneur, and I can try to figure out some good content for me to go ahead and repost. Now, videos are doing very, very well by way of the Explore page and uh, getting tons and tons of engagement. So they're pretty much going to put you on the Explore page for a minute period of time and they're gonna see how it does with engagement. So if a lot of people are reacting to it with likes and comments and you're engaging back with the people who are commenting on your very post, that's gonna help you stay on the explore page. Now you're not gonna get onto the explore page from the get-go, but over time with persistence and staying consistent with your content, then you will. So make sure that you go ahead and start doing that now because it's literally super easy. Let's say I wanted to download this video of a G-Wagon going out there and literally just off-roading in the mud. I could literally do that in two clicks with this Chrome extension as you can see. It's super easy to go ahead and get started and you could repost that instantly. So I like to keep it between one to two posts daily and staying consistent is super valuable. You're gonna start growing your engagement and reaching new people and getting new followers. And then in the mix of that, so once you're posting that viral content, you're gonna go ahead and start working in your own products, all right? So you're gonna be doing that and literally just throwing it in the mix where it's gonna be as seamless as possible, ideally, and if you can get high quality pictures of your products, that is super valuable as well. And you work that in with your typical Instagram content and say, hey, you know, we're having a flash sale, go to the link in our bio, stuff along those lines. Um, and also, whenever you do post your content, that um, that you're putting out there such as you know a viral video you want to always tag yourself you know follow you you know tag yourself um, for more content like this for example all right and that's going to direct people to go to your page to look for more content exactly like that and lastly another free um, thing that you can go ahead and do out there on Instagram is once you do the first few steps and you start getting that follower uh, count higher and you start getting more engagement, you can start doing shout outs for shout outs. So you could reach out to other influencers or micro influencers in your space and you shout out their page, they shout out yours, vice versa. Everyone walks away winner, both of you walk away with new followers, more engagement and more exposure and it's 100% free. So there's nothing that hurts that 
and you're literally just piggybacking off the following that you've built for 100% free already. So posting on Instagram and staying consistent in that aspect is super, super valuable and it's gonna help you build a social presence. And on top of that, once people go ahead and bump into your brand, whether you're running a paid ad or you're running an influencer ad or you're simply uh, having someone come across your page through an organic view, they're going to see that they could trust your brand more if you have a higher follower account, good real engagement from actual people that are engaging with your page that aren't just automated bots. And that is going to help you build trust and trust is a huge factor when it comes to purchasing on social media and people that are looking at brands that they've never seen before so they could actually trust the brand and feel comfortable putting in their credit card information once they're on your store. And it's literally a part of that series of micro commitments that I've said in the past, my previous videos, literally starting from a like or a post on one of your uh, pages post is the, a, the very start of that process. So it's something that's very valuable and something that you want to hold in high regard and staying consistent with. So once you are going with Instagram, that is super, super valuable. So make sure that you're doing that and literally just integrate your own post within your content strategy and reaching out to as many people as possible and uh, more so than anything else, what's going to help you in the algorithm, and I've covered this in the algorithm change video that I did uh, a few weeks ago, is make sure you engage back with your subscribers or your followers, sorry. So let's say someone goes out there and comments on your post saying, I love this content or, ooh, I want one of these bracelets, whatever it may be. You want to always go ahead, like their comment, and give them an insightful response to that comment, reply to their comment because that's going to help you in the algorithm because with Instagram's latest algorithm, they are prioritizing, yes, posts that are more recent are more often than not going to be pushed to the top, but if they're a few hours later, 10 hours later, 12 hours late, they're going to be held in a higher regard and put further up everyone's timeline if people are actually engaging with it. So if they see that there are insightful comments, they see that you're replying to the comments, liking those comments, and there's true activity on that post, they're going to keep it up there longer to keep that snowball effect on your very content that you put out there on your page. So this is super, super valuable. And on top of that, it's gonna help you catapult over to the Explorer page where you'll be getting the most exposure possible. So that is super valuable for your Instagram pages and how to start drop shipping without money because it doesn't cost anything to go out there and start posting on your Instagram page and getting this content to put out there and getting pushed up the algorithm just by simply staying consistent and posting good stuff that is going viral. So it's super easy to go ahead and do that. And then two other ways if you are willing to do so, if you want to get yourself in front of a camera or if you're really good at recording good footage, you could do YouTube and you could do tutorial videos, all right? So tutorials about how to use your products or how they are useful. Or lastly, you could also go ahead and do the same thing on Facebook, all right? Posting these tutorial videos or blog posts, all right? Are great ways to go out there and start getting traffic to your store and providing this, this medium of value to an audience so that they could see, well, all right, it's sort of a pre-sale. I could see how I could use a, you know, a glove that helps me groom my dog easier rather than using a brush or how they could use a specific piece of equipment in their business that could be more useful or help them streamline their daily activities. Whatever pain point that you could hit, maybe if you're giving them five tips on how to train their pet, whatever it is, you could still follow that up with some sort of product once you started to gain trust from someone by giving them a medium of content, whether it's a tutorial video, a blog post, or you're literally giving them insightful content through Instagram. So these are three basic ways that you can go ahead and get started with getting dropshipping sales on your Shopify store for 100% free, literally by grinding and putting yourself out there. All right, guys, so without any further ado, I'm going to wrap up this video here and keep it fairly prompt. If you have any other ideas or something that's worked for you in the past or you wanted to drop some feedback on exactly what you saw right here on this video, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Go ahead, start grinding, and start making dropshipping sales without spending money simply by putting the time and effort in by putting out content into the internet right now. So without any further ado, I'm signing off here, Anthony Maslone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.